Hello guys, welcome again to the channel and in this video I covered my process on how I rigged this lovely character over here in Blender 2.8. This character has been through several processes from concept art, modeling the base, and modeling the clothes. So in case you missed those videos, be sure to check them out and I put the link in the description and somewhere on top of this video. Okay, without further ado, let's jump into the rigging process. Alright, first of all, I need to combine or join the meshes into one object. It's not necessary to join all of them, I just need to join the parts that I consider it as one, such as legs, pants, hands, and etc. into single body. And sometimes I need to remesh the mesh a bit in order to create a clean mesh. In my opinion, the important concept to rig a character is how we can rig parts that bend, such as knees, elbows, and fingers. This demo shows how to rig such a case pretty easily. You just need to remesh the model a bit and then assign the vertices that are going to be a hinge or a switch by a half influence for both connected bones, and then assign full influence for the parts that should be controlled by particular bones. And then as you can see, we get nice bends. Alright, here is I'm actually using an add-in for rigging called Rigify and can be enabled by accessing your Blender preferences settings. And then I just need to create the preset rig and move the bones around to match the character proportion. Then I need to make sure that the bones rotate in the correct direction and this process is very crucial because it can affect the final IK influence later on. When the best rig is done, I need to generate the rig controls and then remove unnecessary parts of the controls to other layers. Now, by remembering the concept of bending that I have mentioned before, now we can easily rig the characters. Enabling the names of the bones in the few parts is also very handy so we know what bones should influence certain vertices. For the parts such as head, neck, torso, and stomach, I'm still using the same technique that is half influence for the hinge parts and full influence for the rest. And yeah, basically it is completely the same process. Sometimes, assigning vertex grip doesn't give the result that I want, so I fix it in wake paint mode and start painting the vertices until I reach the result that satisfy my requirement. I also add new bones that are not available in the preset rig and it is going to be used for additional controls of course. Then after assigning the vertex group I combine it with the main rig. I remodel the eyes and mouths and I will control the expression by geometry or the object itself. And then I create several shape keys for expressions such as closing the eyes, raising the eyebrow, angry, sad, cherry opening, and etc.
and then eyes and left and right vertex group so the shape case will affect certain vertex group so for example when the eye is closing it will be either the left or the right eye And then I created several burns to control the shape case value and adding a driver and experimenting its value until I am comfortable to control the face rig. And there she goes, the Ayana bit tune shading and etc and yeah I'm pretty happy with Rick. I also experimented to animate the post but turns out it's kinda of a bit silly. But anyway thank you for joining me in this devlog, give me a like if you like, subscribe for more content like this and until then see you next time.